After a three-year showstopper's reign, Brothers United were finally able to break their hold on the West Coast East Bank subdivision on Saturday morning. Former national striker Andrew Murray's clinically struck penalty left the large turnout of showstopper's fans in disbelief and heartbroken as they saw their favorite team sink. The visitors, Brothers United, stunned a capacity crowd that many felt was the biggest turnout in the zone's history, first being able to hold the champions to a goalless stalemate in regulation and then beat them in the penalty shootout 1-0. Just as predicted, Brothers United employed a defensive strategy with Murray, the lone striker up front, instigating a counter-attack ploy whenever showstoppers lost possession of the ball, and it seemed to frustrate the usually high-school showstoppers' side. The normally potent strike force of Marvin Josiah, Stefan Jupiter and Treon Bob were kept at bay by sturdy defending and a threatening counter-attack led mainly by the skillful Murray. Earlier, Baller's Empire outclassed up-top bosses romping to a comfortable 3-0 win to claim third place, while Westside Baller squeezed past ESPN 2-1 to take home the plate final and $60,000. Brothers United received $500,000 and the winning trophy, while second, third, and fourth place finishers carted off $250,000, $200,000, dollars respectively, along with trophies. Attention now switches to the next leg, which will be held in the ancient county of Burbese on March 8th, 9th, and the final set for the 16th. For the Evening News Sport, Jemima Holmes.